How are you today, little angels? It's your teacher, Anunciata. I wish you people could be coming here every day. Do you know how interesting it is? And especially when I'm interacting with these young ones, I feel so happy. I feel very much fine. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. We have been talking about counting forward and we have driven our vehicles. We're even passing the school gate and going outside the school gate. Because every day we are driving forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward. So we've done counting numbers in ones. We have done it in twos and now in fives. Show me any five things you have. Teacher, I have five fingers. Wow. Wiggle your fingers if you're seeing me. Wiggle, 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 wiggle them. Wiggle them. One hand has five fingers. Another one has five fingers. What else do you have that is five? Teacher, I have five toes. Very, very, very good. You've done it so well. You have five toes on each feet. So when it is one, it is a toe. When there are many, you're saying toes. This is one hand with how many fingers? Five fingers. And this is another one with five fingers. So when we put together, how many do you get? I guess that one will tell your mommy. How many do you get? When you put five fingers together with five fingers, how many do you get? That one, tell mommy. Mommy will write me an SMS and tell me that. So Janet said it is 10 or 15 or 30. So today you want to count in fives. Things that are just fives. Fives. And counting in fives is very interesting and very easy. Do you know what I normally use to teach my kids counting in fives? I use the fingers. I use the fingers. If I'm counting from number zero, I say zero is nothing. Then I come, I say five. Uh -huh. We continue. Five. Then I say five in the head. I continue. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I say if I'm supposed to write these numbers, 1 up to 50, I'll say 1, start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I come again here, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I come again here and write 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Come again and say 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. I come again and say 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Now, someone tells me, now teacher, you've written numbers 1 to 50. So how do we know that we have counted in tens? Then I tell her now. The same way we did for number two. I count zero. That is loud. Then how many am I going to count silently? Five of them. So I'll say zero. One, two, three, four. Then I move to the next five. So five will be very loud. So we go zero. One, two, three, four. Five. Then, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am on the fifth one. The fifth one, you circle. Mm -hmm. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. The fifth one, you circle. Uh -huh. You continue, the game is nice. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. The fifth one, you circle, which is twenty. So we count. The fifth one, you circle. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Then 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Then 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. 
50. Now look at the board. Look at the board. What do you find so interesting when you're counting in five? Tell me something. There is something common in these numbers that are counting in five. Uh -huh. I'm listening. I'm listening. Someone to give me a hint. What do you find so common about those numbers? Yes. Uh -huh. Someone has given me the secret. The secret is the number has either a zero or a five. Okay? So, when you're coming here, which number after 5 has a 0? The number after 5 that has a 0 is 10. And which number after 10 has a 5 that is below 20? It is 15. Then, which number has a 0 that is after 15? It is 20. Which number has a 5 that is after 20? Is 25. Which number has a 0 that has, is after 25? It is 30. Which number has a 5 that is after 30? It is 35. Which number has a 0 that is after 35? 40. Which number that has a 5 that is after 40? 40. 45. And which number has a 0 that is after 45? It is 50. Now, have you realized something about counting in fives? Have you realized that? That a number that when you're counting in fives, the number has a zero or a five. Have you realized that? Now we go. It is now very easy to count in fives. We go zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. Now we write it down here nicely the way it's supposed to be. We say it is 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. Now, even if the teacher comes and says, I want someone to give me the answers for here, here, and here. Will you be able to fill in the missing numbers? Will you be able to fill in the missing numbers in those three gaps? Can someone help me fill out the missing numbers in the three gaps? Someone is willing to do it for me, please. I'm waiting for an assistance. Please do it for me. So which number is there? We have said the number must have a 0 or a 5. So this one has a 0. This one has a 5. Which means the next number must have a 0. And which number is it that is after 10 that has a, a 0? After 5, it is a 10. Then we go to 15. So the number has a 0, a 5, a 0, a 5, a 0. So which number is after 20 that has a 5? It is... 25 and then a 0 then a 5 then which number comes after 35 that has a 0 is 40 yay we did it we did it very well so with the help of your parents i want you to arrange items in fives in groups of fives and you continue counting them counting them until you master this concept you just remember the rule when you're counting in fives, the number must have a zero or a five. We are seeing counting in fives. So the number must have a zero or a five. And I've been using this method to teach my kids. And do you know what? They are doing it so well that I am happy. Thank you very much. And continue joining these lessons as we now look forward to counting backward in fives. You must also learn how to count backwards in five. But if you have done it for the forward, the backward will be so easy. Easy peasy. Thank you very much and have a nice day.